to monkey gardening on what is an absolutely beautiful sunny day. Um, temperature's finally crept up a little bit. Um, so let's have a look around and uh, see what's going on. Uh, so look at the polytunnels first. So I've got my seedlings under here, my pea seedlings, and they're absolutely loving life in the polytunnel. They put on loads of growth. They're practically ready to be planted out. So I'm really happy the way that this polytunnel's working out. Um, I've even got some basil that I bought from the supermarket. Seems to be uh, really happy in here as well. Um, this is a tray of um, courgettes that didn't germinate apart from one. I've just stuck it in here in case it does anything, but um, it's not really doing much. Um, but I've got another tray of uh, this year's seeds of courgettes and they have germinated. Um, we'll have a look at those in a bit when we look at um, seedling corner. Um, nothing in the fleece uh, polytunnel yet. Um, but yeah, this polytunnel is a great idea. I can finally start um, moving stuff out of the windowsill and, and propagate more stuff. Uh, it's always the kind of log jam is when you've germinated stuff. It's not quite ready to go in the ground. The ground's too cold, but it doesn't want to live on the windowsill anymore. Um, yeah, this is a great solution. Uh, what else is going on? Um, oh yeah, so this is my contraption to try and keep the squirrels away from my blackberry and raspberry plants. If you saw in the previous episode, um, they chewed through one of the vines. Um, I should try and work out something a bit more elegant than this. Um, so yeah, the squirrels are annoying. Um, last year I had everything netted up, which kept them out of most things. Um, but it's not very nice having everything netted up. Um, so we'll just have to see how we, how we go. Um, oh yeah, so the uh, the vine that they chewed through, I soaked in water. I soaked the end in water, um, and I put it in some soil. Uh, in the vain hope that it might regenerate, um, it still seems to be alive at the moment. And um, we'll see how that goes. Over here, I've set up this bed um, for growing peas and maybe other things. I've put fresh uh, layer of compost on, and I've set up these canes, which will support the peas when they're growing. Um, the actual the actual ground here is too hard to put the canes in, so the canes actually have to go into the beds. Um, but they're all the way through, right into the ground. Um, having this cross support makes the whole thing a lot stronger. So those peas will probably go in, maybe today. Um, I'll look at the forecast. Um, but it is finally warming up out here. Uh, what else can I show you? Rainbow chard still doing well. I've sowed some more and that's germinated. We'll have a look at that in a bit. Um, my strawberries are putting on growth. They've finally woken up. They're putting on new leaves. You can see the leaves have changed colour, so they're all happy. Um, the rosemary's bouncing back, the thyme's bouncing back, um, so that's all good. It's amazing what a bit of warmth um, makes in the garden. Okay, uh, so that's it for the garden, and we're going to look at uh, what's happening with the seedlings now. It's a beautiful day. Okay, so here we are again in seedling corner. There's some exciting things going on. Let's have a little look. I've taken the uh, covers off <coughs> just so you can see what's happening. So this is lettuce that I sowed um, three days ago. It took less than 48 hours to come up. I had it in the um, heated propagator, which I'll show you in a second. Um, so these I'll need to prick out into individual pots and grow them on. Um, but I'm pretty pleased with these. Um, you're supposed to use vermiculite or grit or sand in the compost um, with lettuce. It doesn't like having um, particularly wet roots. But I didn't have any. Um, but it seems to have worked anyway. So hopefully they'll be uh, strong enough to, to pick out. Uh, courgettes. This is my second lot of courgettes. The first lot failed apart from one. So this is this year's seed. So we've got uh, yellow in the in this row, uh, clarion variety in the middle row, and the yellow variety. So yellow variety defender. Sorry, defender variety in the front row. Uh, a couple haven't germinated, but the rest have. Um, and this can, is now ready to go outside into the um, polytunnel. Uh, underneath here, which you can't quite see, um, there's board beans and spinach, uh, neither of which have germinated yet. Um, the lettuce was, sorry, the spinach was on the heated propagator for a while. Um, I might move it back there um, and give it another chance. If not, then I'll just sow some more. Um, over here, I've got um, uh, coriander, only w one of which has germinated. Again, this is last year's seed. It might even be an older than that. And here I've got sunflower seeds. Again, last year's seed, nothing's germinated, um, but I've got some fresh seed this year. So we'll have a little go at that. Um, this is thyme. 
and sage and there's something else I'm not quite sure from here uh, the time started to germinate a little bit um, but again this is all last year's seed so I'm going to plant some more of that it's not really taking off I think it's been here at least a week now uh, if I take you down to the heated propagator uh, down here just you can see it just plugs in there's a heating element in the very bottom um, this is good because um, well th the ground is warmed up uh, now um, but before when I was potting stuff up the uh, compost was freezing cold um, it, and stuff wasn't getting going so being able to put it in the heated propagator is great and when I take this off it can feel warm humid air coming off and these are my little if I can get this into focus my little uh, rainbow chard my little rainbow chard seedlings um, a bit difficult to see um, but they're coming through nicely and considering they were last year's seed that was rattling around in the tin um, I'm pretty pleased that they've germinated at all yeah, this heated propagator is really useful. Um, I've had it for a couple of years, it was a present, but um, I've never actually used it before. Um, so yeah, I could do with a couple more of those, I might buy a couple more for next year. Okay, so that's seedling corner for now. Um, and uh, the last thing we need to do is check up with what's happening with um, Seb's little seedling. Hi Seb, if you're watching. Um, so here's a photo um, from a week ago now. Um, so this was day one after we'd sown it. Um, and here we are now on uh, day five, I think, you sent it me yesterday. Uh, so nice one Seb, it's definitely a runner bean and it looks like it needs to be planting out, planted out very soon. So good luck with that. Okay, thanks for watching everyone, see you on the next one.